I'm going to show you how to do a single crochet. So here I already have the chain. And there's several different ways to do a single crochet into a starting chain. Now if you see each one of these little V's is a chain stitch. And if you flip it over, there's a bump on the back. Now some people, at first, whenever you're working into a chain, you never go into this first V. That is your turning chain. So, because if you went back into it, it will pop your stitch out. So you never want to start in this first V. Now when you go into the second one, you can either go under both sides of the V and have the bump on the back, or you can go into just one side or one side and the bump on the back. Now, I like to go under both sides of the V. That's just me. But whenever you're working into the stitches on the rows, if you're not working in a front loop or a back loop, you're always going to be going under both stitches of the V. So, to make a single crochet, you yarn over after you've inserted your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through both loops that were on the hook. That's your first single crochet. And it looks a little funky right now, but whenever we get into get going into the other stitches, it'll straighten out. So you go into your stitch, yarn over from right to left, pull up a loop yarn over, pull through both loops. Now if you notice when you make a single crochet it has a V down here and it has a V on the top. Now all your stitches will have the V on the top but on a single crochet it also has the V on the front of the stitch. So I'll show you again. You go into your stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through both loops. Go into your stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through both loops. Now, I'm looking through my camera's viewfinder and as you can see I have a little loop back here because whenever I pulled up my first loop I didn't grab all my strands of yarn. So I pull the stitch out and I'm going to do that again because we don't want that loop sticking out. Now see I almost did it again. Pulled up a loop and pulled through both loops. Now 
and I think that's actually because I am using a Susan Bates hook and I don't like the way that the hook is shaped on the Susan Bates hook. I actually prefer the boy hooks, but I thought that the bigger hook size would be better to show the stitches with. If you can see, the Susan Bates has a really angular, almost pointed in tip on the hook and the boy hook has a rounded almost like a bird's beak tip on the hook so I prefer the rounded hook edge to the angle hook edge because this one doesn't tend to catch the yarn and go in between the strands as much as this one does so now you know how to make a single crochet and what my preference in crochet hooks are <laughs> little more than you might have bargained for, but there you have it. Just go into the stitches. And the chain is always a little hard to work in, but whenever you go into a regular stitch, it's usually not that hard. See, I'll chain one, and then see, it's a lot easier to go into a regular stitch. It just slides right in. That's your hole right there, right under the V. Slide right into it. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Now when you start a row of single crochets, you always want to start with a chain one. because that's how high your stitches are going to be, is just the height of a chain one. So when you start a row of single crochets, you just chain one and go into it. Now see, here's the little V's for my first row. And the second row doesn't have V's as much. Like, instead of the V being, here's the top of the stitch, and here's the V. So this is this one stitch. And up here, they kind of do have the V, but they also have this little bar that goes across the back. So you can always tell where the front and where the back of a single crochet is based on whether you see the bar or whether you just see the V. Well, there you have it.